Hi, Michelle here. Welcome to my little studio tour. Um, I'm going to start up this end of our room, my room. <laughs> and up here is, I've got a lot of little trinkets and bits and pieces in here. Uh, handy in the shelves here. And sewing so machine. And as you can see up here, I have a, quite a collection of birds and bird cages. And I've, I've used a lot of birds and bird cages in my artwork. <laughs> so uh, it seems to be featuring more and more in my stuff lately. And yes, yeah, so this is one little section. And down below this one, <laughs> um, I've got little drawers down here that have everything sort of bits and pieces in there by colour. So there's all little bits and pieces. I like these drawers because they come out easily and I can sort of have a fish through them. Put them away. And I've just found when I was going through before, I found this little feather. I think I'll leave him out because who knows what's going to happen with him. And then I've got scrap paper in this set of drawers here. Then I've got my new uh, video um, tabletop stand here that my husband has made for me and I've designed this, it needs a little bit more tweaking but then we're going to be selling these as well so you're able to put your lights into the stand up here, connect your camera here and it's super easy to do video tutorials using the stand so it's made my life a lot easier for sure and we've made it so that you can fold it up and stand it flat behind a door if you need as well. And then up here I have a collection of some of the artwork that I have done so far this year. So I've had quite a creative journey this year. It's been a lot of fun and a lot of growing. Okay. So under my desk here that I've sort of just made up, I have my new trolleys from Ikea. I love these trolleys. They hold so much. Uh, this one has all my paints and mediums in it. So I'll have all my mediums up the top here. Uh, Dab of paints and bottle paints here. My tubes of paints down the bottom. So uh, super handy and I can't wait to really start using these to play with. I've got a few, some of my stencils and masks and things handy in there. I have a few here, there and everywhere. And then I've got more stamps uh, just down in this container here. So it's like a lot of my bigger bigger stamps in there. Move closer here. second new trolley I have all my mixed media odds and ends and stamping bits and pieces glitter more sprays more mediums and stuff down the bottom there so I'm really um, loving how much I can fit into these trolleys that's really good and in the corner I just have like baskets of bits that I've sort of go to quickly all the time. And the dusty attic chipboard, I just keep these in these um, folders that keeps them nice and flat and easy to access and to find what I'm looking for. So I have baskets of stamps up here, pencils, uh, all my tools, heat guns and that glue guns down in there. I have more artwork up in the corner as well and and then I picked up these drawers a few months ago and they're just perfect for all those 
not uh, mixed media bits and pieces. So this one I have uh, tissue paper, all your different bits of paper, brown paper, pattern paper. So they're, they're great for um, pulling those in and out. Or em ephemera, <laughs> I can never say that. <laughs> ephemera um, tags and all those like, little bits and pieces. And that one there. This one just has like proper top, uh, sorry, six by six uh, paper pads and some more die cuts. Um, in there, I've got everything that's got wings, butterflies, and birds, all the wing stuff in that one. Uh, rub ons and words. So, little word sheets, rub ons, quotes, and all that in there. Just trinkets and bits and pieces. And bottom, this one has a heap of napkins in that one. And, and some chipboard and stuff in that one there as well. And so I've got some tool area set up here. And now we'll go. So up here I've got my year plan of 2014 and as you can see it's um, pretty well nearly full for the year next year. <laughs> I have a lot happening. Um, then I have a three month planner that I work on here. This is all um, a secret squirrel business for programs and things that I'm working <laughs> on for next year. Amen. <laughs> okay so in the corner here I've got my TV and the printer and I just have the TV playing in the background mainly at night and more artwork up in the corner I have my vision board over here that I have a lot of my goals and that on them more bits and pieces more work uh, I have a new desk area a bigger desk area set up for my work area which is making life a lot easier because I didn't have a lot of bench space before so I've only just rearranged everything again last weekend and we'll put a couple of bigger tables in. So, um, yeah, so this is all my work area here, which is quite good. I'll put that back. <laughs> okay, and so, over in this corner, um, just got a cupboard, I just keep a lot of work stuff, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, folders and filing and that in there. And um, these gorgeous pieces of artwork on the cupboard here were done by my beautiful daughter. <laughs> and. Uh, She's an extremely talented artist and <laughs> she's pulling faces at me. <laughs> yeah, she's extremely talented and I love her artwork. So I've got that there where I can see it so it can keep inspiring me. And then over here I have another shelf with full of stuff, good stuff. <laughs> um, up here I have buttons and flowers, uh, more artwork sort of scattered about and flowers and this um mm. computer's dinger this canvas here in the corner my good friend mr m Perth, she did that and taught that at a, one of my workshops here in Mackay this year and this one here is a cast of leone's face that she did in school and i've just decorated that in Got it in this frame, but I've got to secure it in better somehow. But I really like that. It's something totally different. Um, put back in there. Uh, I have trinkets sort of in these things here. This shelf here has all my sketchbooks in it. And I used to start by numbering my sketchbooks with volumes and decorating a little bit and I even used to take photos of the layouts I did from the sketches, but as time has gotten on, they were lucky to then get a ribbon after a while, and from there, they pretty much don't get anything now, and it's just a sketch in there. And I haven't... I haven't done a quarter of the sketches that I've sketched because um, I used to just sit, sit down for a while here and there and just do a whole heap at one time or another. 
but these are great to come back to. If I am stuck for an idea, I'll just come back to my sketches and off we go again. And then below there I've got uh, mixed medium sprays and inks and bits and pieces in these uh, little containers here. So you can see I've got to keep all my embossing powders and little burst of inks. All those odds and ends that you forget to use when they're, um, when they're away in separate containers. Uh, more trinkets and beads and stuff down there. Uh, then this corner, where did go? Uh, it's just unfinished work that I'm still working on or it's still in progress. And then Washing machine still going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then um, the stool here up and up as um, like that's all my all my achievements that I've done over the years since 2005, just to remind me how far I've come, where I've come from. And I think that is it for my studio tour. So thank you for joining me and I hope you've enjoyed it. See ya! Hi, this is my little studio room and I'm about to give you a tour around my little um, play area. So first up, I've got some like trinkets and bling bits and pieces up here in the sewing machine here. Um, as you can see, uh, start again. Yeah, I just realised. Sorry, I forgot. Yep, you're right. Okay. And Hi, and welcome to my studio tour. Yeah. <laughs> Drag <Drunk> hair. <laughs> Do you want me to stop it? There you go. Okay. Hi, and welcome to... Yeah. Welcome <laughs> to my house. <laughs> this is where I put my stuff. Okay. 